question 58. Mrs. John buys a washing machine for $3,300. It seems, right, from these answers, it seems to be $3,300. Why do they separate this? But anyway, which includes a sales tax of 10%. Without the sales tax, the price is... Uh, all right. If it didn't have the sales tax, what would have been the price? Let's see. Let's say the price was X. She buys a washing machine for 3300 Includes a sales tax of 10 If it wasn't the sales tax, it should be less than 3300 This is out. Can't be more. It would have to be less. So it's either B, C, or D. Now, she pay 3300 You had X, the price before, plus 10% tax. 10% of X, whatever it is. It came out to 3300 you don't know what the tax, you don't know what the price without the tax was. So this is what you have to do. Alright? Now, this is equivalent to x plus 0.1x equals 3300. Alright? This is 1x, you know, so 1 plus 0 0.1, 1.1x is equal to 3300. So when you divide by 1.1, you get it. So this is the same as three three hundred. You multiply both of them by ten is over eleven. So eleven into eleven one, eleven into thirty three, three. So you have three thousand. It's suggesting answer for fifty eight is C. Fifty eight C right. Now Let's look a little further at this. Someone might say, if it was 3,300, remove 10% of this and whatever you got. You look at that as the answer. But let's see what happened. If you find 10% of 3,300, it would be 330. And if you should subtract 330 from 3,300, you'll have 3,300 minus 330. So, zero minus zero, zero. This would be 7. And 12 minus 3 is going to be 9. And this is 2. They would have got 2,970, which would be wrong. Remember, you add 10% to the price before, and you get the bigger price. If you remove 10% of this bigger price, 10% of a bigger number is bigger. So you would be removing too much. The 10% of the lower price was a certain a certain number. The 10% of the bigger price is a different number, not the same. So you cannot remove 10%. You cannot subtract 10% of this big price and say it's the same thing would happen if you had that small price and increase it up to the bigger price. All right? 10% of the new price, the bigger price, and 10% of the old price, this is the smaller price, are two different numbers. So you can't do that. This would be a wrong method, a wrong approach, and you would get a wrong answer. You have to say X, whatever that is, you don't know. The old price plus 10% of that old price gives you the 3,300 and work with that. All right. Let's look at question 59. Question 59. 
if John's present age is 3x years. All right, John is now 3x years. And Jane is twice his age. So Jane is two times 3x. What will be the sum of their ages in five years' time? Oh, so in five years, John will be 3x plus 5. In five years, Jane would be 2 times 3x plus 5. And you want the sum of their ages. All right, 3x plus 5 is John's age. 2 times 3x, let's just call it 6x, 6x plus 5 is Jane's age. The sum of their ages, you add them. So let's see what you get. 3x plus 6x would be 9x plus 5 plus 5, like terms together. x is first, 3x plus 6x with 9x. Numbers together, 5 plus 5 is 10. 9x plus 10, b. Showing that 59 is B. Alright? Question 59, B. Alright. Let's look at question 60. We zoom out a bit. Alright. This is saying, in the diagram, PT is parallel to QS. So, PT is parallel to QS. You can see it from the two di di arrows here. PT is parallel to QS and QR. QR is equal to RS is equal to RS you can see it from the two strokes and two strokes now the ratio of area of the triangle TQS triangle T QS, this triangle, to the triangle PQR, triangle PQR, what's the ratio of one triangle to the other? All right, let's see. Now, you have triangle PQR. Let's say, all right, first of all, it's the same height, true. Let's say the height is H, or could use 1 for the height. And the base here is 1. That's for the smaller triangle, PQR. The area is half times the base 1 times the height 1. So it is half. Let's look at triangle TQS. The bigger triangle, the area, is half times the base is now 2 because you have another one times the height, same height which is what? half of 2 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 so TQS the big triangle over the smaller triangle is 1 over half this over this 1 over half 
which is the same as multiply top and bottom by 2, 2 over 1. It's 2 to 1. It's suggesting 60. The answer is B. 60 is B. Alright? It's 2 to 1. That's it. The area. Alright? Now, that ends this um this paper we have gone through all 60 questions all right now what we're going to do next time is move on to the next question the, the next um we have another another multiple choice paper that we'll go through again hopefully you understand what the solutions mean and the explanation to the solutions but as I said before if there's anything in the solutions that you don't understand just let me know and i will further go through further explanations with it all right so see you next time